Hi, this is Rob. How to program in Python, a program to find the equation of a line when given two points of that line. The equation for a line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. You are given two points of a line, and you need to find the equation of that line in the y equals mx plus b format. If you are given two points, negative 5, 13, and 3, negative 3, what is the equation of the line that runs through those two points? This point will be x1, y1, and this point is x2, y2. The first part of the program, we use the input function to get the user's input. We ask the user to enter x1, y1, and x2, y2. We also use this float function with the input function because the input function, Python converts the user's input into a string variable. A string variable is text, letters. We cannot do math operations with text. So this float function will convert the user's response to a float number. A float number is a decimal number, a number with a decimal point followed by a zero or other numbers. This equal sign in Python means to assign the value of this float number to the variable x1. Let's run this part of the program only. I'll press the run button, which is the trace button. Program says enter x1. x1 is a negative 5. Make sure you use the negative sign here, not the minus sign. Negative, 5, enter. The program says enter y1. 1, 3, enter. The program says enter x2. 3, enter. The program says enter y2. Negative, 3, I will stop here and go back to the editor of the program by pressing the trace button. I'll arrow down to the next part of the program. This part of the program we are using the if, else if, and when I arrow down you'll see the else statements. So we're using the if, else if, else conditional statements. I'll arrow back up to the if statement. Part of determining the equation of a line is to calculate the slope of the line. Slope of a line is m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We have broken the program down to three parts, a vertical line, a horizontal line, and all other lines. For a vertical line, the x2 and the x1 will be the same number. Thus, the slope is undefined for vertical lines because we'll be dividing by zero. And breaking the program down to three parts will prevent an error message if we have a vertical line, because we can't divide by zero. So this if statement, if x2 minus x1 is equal to zero, then this part of the program will run. This double equal sign in Python means equals to. A single equal sign, like we used at the beginning of the program, means assign the answer to this part to the variable here, or store the answer here into the variable here. These two diamonds is an indentation. Everything that is indented under the if statement will execute if this if statement is true. And using indentation is a must when working with conditional statements. We will test this part of the program using two points of a vertical line. The two points are 2, 5, and 2, 12. Press the trace button to run the program x1 is 2, enter, y1 is 5, enter, x2 is 2, enter, y2 is 12, enter. Here is the output of the program. This is a vertical line. The line equation is x equals 2.0, or x equals 2. This part of the output I will cover later. It is to show the user the two points that was entered. This is just a visual way to make sure that the user has entered the data correctly. I'll go back to the program by pressing the trace button. Arrow down to the second part of the program. The else if. This is what's going to happen. If the line is a horizontal line, in the equation for the slope of a line, if y2 minus y1 is equal to 0, then the line will be horizontal. 
because the y values for the two points will be the same. If this is a horizontal line, the program will output these three print statements. Let's test this program with two points on a horizontal line. The points 5, 3, and 2, 3. I'll run the program by pressing the trace button. X1 is 5, 5, enter. Y1 is 3, 3, enter. X2 is 2, 2, enter. Y2 is 3, 3, enter. Here is the output. This is a horizontal line. The line equation is y equals 3. The two points are 5, 3, and 2, 3. I'll go back to the program by pressing the trace button. Arrow down to the third part of the program. The else statement. If it is not a vertical line or it is not a horizontal line, then this part of the program will run. It will handle all other lines. This first line is calculating the slope of the line and assigning that value to the variable m. The second line is finding the y-intercept, or b. This is from the equation y equals mx plus b, and rearranging it to solve for b. Then the output is these four print statements. Let's test this part of the program with the two points 2, 0, and 0, 3. Run the program by pressing the trace button. X1 is 2, 2, enter. Y1 is 0, 0, enter. X2 is 0, 0, enter. Y2 is 3, 3, enter. Here is the output. The slope is m equals negative 1.5. The y-intercept is b equals 3. The line equation is y equals negative 1.5x plus 3. The two points are 2, 0, and 0, 3. I'll go back to the program by pressing the trace button and arrow down to the last part of the program. These print statements will print every time that the program is run no matter if the line is vertical, horizontal, or a normal line. It is just repeating what the user entered for the two points. This is a way for the user to make sure that they entered the data correctly into the program. I want to run another example if the slope of the line is negative. We'll use these two points, 1, 1, and 3, 5. Press the trace button to run the program. x1 is 1, 1, enter y1 is 1, 1, enter, x2 is 3, 3, enter, y2 is 5, 5, enter. Look at this output. The line equation is y equals 2.0x plus negative 1. On your homework or test, you should write this as y equals 2x minus 1. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.